Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition. We're going to go out to Brooklyn uh, and we're going to have another kind of welcome home episode. Uh, we're going to say welcome back to the Big Apple, uh, Boobsy Castelli, uh, former acting underboss of the Lucchese crime family. Uh, this is a, a guy that's kind of uh, been all over the map in terms of in the uh, Lucchese pecking order. Uh, rank and file. Uh, he's been a soldier. He's been a capo. Uh, and uh, he's also been an acting underboss younger uh, in his younger days. Uh, he went to prison about four or five years ago uh, on a, a racketeering uh, bookmaking case. Uh, and he was listed as a soldier. But uh, another bus that he took uh, in the early 2000s uh, was when he was listed as an acting underboss. And I believe he was a capo. Before that, came up under Stevie Wonder uh, and was uh, uh, Stevie Crea's acting underboss in the late 90s. Uh, we'll see where he fits back in. Uh, there's, you know, a lot of talk about, uh, uh, I don't want to say a, a major shakeup, but uh, we heard uh, recently uh, via John Panisi and some of my reporting that uh, it looks like Patty Della Russo uh, it went from uh, underboss, and now it seems like he's consigliere, and Georgie Nakazapola uh, could be in the uh, acting underboss spot right now with Big Mike DeSantis as uh, at the top of that pyramid as the, as the acting boss with uh, little Vic Amuso in prison as as, as the Godfather. Uh, but you know, uh, Boobsy is is part of the faction that was leading the family up until uh, that big bus in 2017, they all got taken down in, in uh, or all, all, uh, they all got found guilty at a racketeering trial in 2019. Uh, guys like Stevie Wonder and Maddie Madonna. Uh, John Panisi was the star witness at that trial, as well as uh, uh, Boobsy Castelli's trial. And there was, I don't want to get into the drama, but this was, you know, on the, uh, in the court record as part of the testimony, um, it looks like there was some uh, romance going on with uh, between Boopsy Castelli and John Panisi's girlfriend uh, led to some um, words and, and possible uh, other stuff uh, between Panisi and Castelli. It came up in the court uh, court testimony that Panisi gave. I don't think it had anything to do with what Panisi was saying. What he was saying was the facts. Uh, but also the you know he didn't particularly like Costelli because of uh, the fact that Costelli was running around with his girlfriend behind his back. Again, I don't know where that. I don't think it's going to affect uh, Boobsy Costelli now on the when he gets on the street right now. He's not a guy that's going to uh, you know hang up his spurs or anything. John Panisi is a non-factor in that family right now. Uh, but as I said, he was part of that Stevie Crea uh, group who's no longer in power. So we'll see how he fits back in with Big Mike and uh, Patty and, uh, and 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 those guys. But uh, uh, Boobsy Castelli, uh, bodybuilder, uh, a guy that's uh, known as a, a, a partier. I believe he got arrested at one point and, and the cops uh, uh, caught him smoking a joint when they collared him. So he's a good time type dude. I hope he's having a good time back back in Brooklyn. Uh, we'll keep you updated with all the guys that are coming in and out of uh, lockup, as well as uh, you know the latest on any breaking news when it comes to the five families in New York. OG Pod. I'm Scott Bernstein. Out. Mm -hmm.